Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to Lawn Fawn. Get your lawn on. It's a super foggy day here in Wyla. I'm going to be converting a Scott Bonner 45 17 inch into a groomer. So hopefully it all works out well. Really looking forward to having a groomer for next season to give myself that uh, pro look. So this is the beast. So what we'll be doing is we'll be taking the reel out all together. We'll be taking the knife bed, which you can't really see. We're going to be taking the knife bed off. Then we're going to be putting in the reel with the uh, vertical blades. A groomer vertically cuts the grass. The aim is to reduce thatch and cut horizontal runners. What we're trying to do is promote growth from the crown of the plant and reduce the lateral growth within the grass. There are several benefits. Less thatch, improved water penetration, improved soil gas exchange and less chance of disease due to a drier environment. If you don't groom, you'll get a thicker thatch layer and miss out on all the benefits. Grooming is done on fine leaf coaches. Typically done on golf course and lawn bowls grains. I like the low look of my Santa Ana cooch and grooming is going to help me maintain that. Where are we going Heidi? I'm going to the Harley Norman. We've got to go to Nonnie's and Grumpses. Why? Because that's where my blades are. Okay Daddy. Yep, I'm good. I'll take the photo. Cheers. Cheers. Is it foggy? Yeah. In you go. It's so cold. Good girl. Why the piano? So I got some blades which I found on eBay, and I've got a shaft that I got from Golf and Bowling in Victoria. Now the blades have to be thin. A couple of mil is ideal. Now I found these blades on eBay, I haven't been able to find them since. Now the other problem I do have is that these have to be modified to fit the hex of the shaft. So we've put the hole on the first one to fit the shaft, but the big problem is I've got 12 teeth and I've got a six sided hex shaft. So if I'm trying to get this spiral effect like other groomers that you see here, I'm going to have to move the hex cut out by about 5 degrees for each blade, which really is an absolute pain. So considering the amount of modification I've got to do to get it to fit the hex of the shaft, I might be considering going to golf and bowling and getting the whole kit because I have the pre-made blades. The advantage of that is that I won't have to do any work on the blades themselves to make them fit and plus uh, they'll be readily available to replace if I need to where these blades were just a one-off that I was lucky enough to get hold of but unfortunately it's got 12 teeth really it would have been better if it had 11. So in a future video I'll show you what I've decided to go with and uh, we'll get into the nitty-gritty of assembling it and giving you some more details uh, about when to use a groomer. So I'll catch you in a future video. Get your lawn on.